Around the World from the Women's Missionary Band, March 2019. The reoccurring theme in the past few DVDs has been, God is opening doors. He is continuing to do so all over the world, as you will see in this installment. God is moving on his people. Those other sheep which are not of this fold, they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. He is doing a work all across the globe, preparing hearts to receive the true word. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. And, behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord is getting ready to return for his bride, who hath made herself ready. We don't know when he is returning. But we do know one thing for sure. He is returning. But the world is turning away from God. We hear more and more, I have no religion, or I don't believe there is a God. The enemy has deceived them, and they will be lost forever if not reached with the truth. The church of God is the pillar and ground of the truth. It is the work of the church of God to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, the true gospel, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. We cannot preach a watered-down version of the word of God. We cannot afford to rest until this work is done. We must go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Gabon, a country on the west coast of Africa, located on the equator with an estimated population of two million people. It is said that approximately 73% of the population practice at least some elements of Christianity. 12% practice Islam, and 5% practice no religion or are atheist. God opened the door to allow the Church of God to be in Gabon for the first time since the reorganization. Some ministers from the Congo moved to Gabon and began to witness and work with a minister there. Maurice Musavu contacted Bishop Patrice Kalamba, our national overseer of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Republic of Congo, and Cameroon. He, along with Bishop Robert Hawkins, our World Mission Coordinator, were able to visit, holding classes and training for pastors, ministers, and leaders who wanted to know more about the doctrine, the true word of God. This is the prominent teachings. They were also able to have nightly revival type services there. Souls were saved and the saints rejoiced in the sound teaching and preaching. They desired to live a holy life. One of the pastors testified saying in part, I realize that you are the true church of God, of apostolic continuity, for you revalorize the theocratic government by considering the direction of the Holy Spirit, the rigor of holiness, and the acceptance of the entire rightly divided Bible, the New Testament as the only rule of faith and practice, for Christ will bring forth before him a glorious church, without spot, wrinkle, or anything like it, but holy and blameless.
the opportunity to be a witness for the true gospel to even more people was made available through an interview by a television show that was broadcast in the Port Gentile area. There was much material left for the brothers and sisters to study, and the report is that two of the pastors are in the process of completing the French and English correspondence courses. One was so touched by these that he has contacted brethren in France. This, in turn, will open another door for the World Mission Department on a future trip. The testimony of the pastor went on to say, I continue to discover the true church of God that was found in the fields of the wood. The doctrine of this church is sound. We are already applying this doctrine here. Truly God loves us, and he chose us to be his holy nation. That is why he sent you to our home to let us know the biblical truth. Their hearts are soft to receiving the Word of God. A tentative trip to organize the Church of God in Gabon has been planned for July. The Republic of Zambia. Zambia is a country in South Central Africa, although some sources consider it part of East Africa. As of a 2010 Zambian census, the population was 13,092,666 with a total of 73 ethnic tribes. Zambia is officially a Christian nation, but a wide variety of religious traditions exist. We were contacted by a pastor, Emmanuel Bawalya, in Zambia, asking for information concerning the Church of God. Our literature was sent and was received. They believed what they read and invited us to come so they may hear and learn more. There is a lot of dishonesty in Zambia concerning the Word of God. They call it prosperity gospel. It was told that one would go and pay the church secretary and then take the receipt to the pastor to get prayed for. They are searching for the truth. They want the light of the world to come. Bishop Patrice Columba and Bishop Robert Hawkins were able to travel there and meet the call to bring the truth to them. They were welcomed by the people with joy in their hearts. <laughs> They were able to visit a couple of congregations with about 10 hours travel between the two. Bishop Columba presented the prominent teachings and spoke about worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. They received it well. This vital point of New Testament doctrine are some of the prominent teachings of the Church of God. Not, only, not all Christian church organizations teach the, this point of doctrine the same way. The Church of God accepts the whole Bible, rightly divided, and all these sacred truths as they have been revealed in the scripture by the Holy Ghost. You look at the mirror. I said, God, why 
did you create me like this? I wanted my lips to be as you didn't make it green I am intelligent I'm clever it takes green color he said God you are not clever let me show you how clever I am you put green there and he said, God, God, I wanted you to put something when I'm born on my 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 my, my finger. Now let's say, put the ear not share or one bigger with you. As you didn't do it, I'm going to do it. Now that's it. You put rings there. And when you put rings, you will not hide them. You will not hide them. You need. You, you will see how you will work on the way. Number ni mien dele ya kusana. Nice air. Let's add up any room shoe suma. You will plant some air there. Ero wa bika konomba ifimo kumi tu kumi tu. That doesn't belong to you. That it didn't belong to you. Wa fala number last day shaba kuli yoe. You don't even know where they are coming from. I wish you no know, And you put them there. You put pearl. You put things on this. And when you start working, you are You are not Suppose that in this church everybody is blind, only you, you have eyes to see. Will you put makeup? 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 Zimbabwe, officially the Republic of Zimbabwe, is a country located in southern Africa with a population of roughly 16 million. Zimbabwe has 16 official languages, with English being one of the most commonly used. An estimated 80% of the country's citizens identify themselves as Christians. Approximately 7% of citizens have no religious practice or are atheists. The Church of God of Prophecy was established in Zimbabwe in the 1970s. K.C. Nyamuka was the overseer. He passed away about four years ago. After his death, due to changes that were taking place, the Church of God of Prophecy splintered in that country. Brother Joshua Nyamuka, his son, and a portion of the members remained faithful to the old past. They held on to the 29 prominent teachings, along with the other teachings of the whole Bible, rightly divided. Brother Joshua Nyamuka came across our track, What Has Happened, that somehow made its way into his father's hand. When he read the track, he was very excited to know that the church was still alive and wanted to know more about her. He contacted headquarters and started a dialogue with Bishop Hawkins. He flew to the Johannesburg, South Africa airport on one occasion to meet with Bishop Hawkins. After this conversation, 
he desired to share with his members more about what had happened and tell them that he had found the continuation of God's church. Arrangements were made for Bishop Robert F. Strong, Sr., General Field Secretary, and Bishop Robert Hawkins, World Mission Coordinator, to go and meet with them in Zimbabwe to answer any questions they may have and to discuss becoming members of the Church of God. They met with Brother Nayamuka and a group of former members of the Church of God of Prophecy, and from the beginning, they did not feel as though they were strangers, but felt that kindred spirit as we were among brothers and sisters in the Lord that believed and practiced the same doctrine as we. They did not have to be taught. They already knew. Brother Nyamuka told the congregation, jokingly, that he had two oxen, one white and one black, and he was putting them to work feeding the flock. And that is exactly what they were, fellow laborers yoked together in the work of the Lord. Saints from Zimbabwe and the neighboring countries of Malawi and Zambia were waiting on the arrival of the team. Give me that old-time religion. That's what they were taught, and that's what they wanted to hear. They wanted to hear doctrine, the message of the church, the history of how we got here, and they seemed fully satisfied with what they heard. With the local church that had a lot of young Christians and young ministers. So they began to instruct me, telling me about God's church and the thing that they told me that was so important. So you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> you don't have to take my word for it. Okay, I'll find it to that my shop and no child. So you can find it for yourself. You can you know, read you know, it. You know, it. You know, God's word going over the material that you can One day as I was studying it, mm -hmm. all of a sudden. It seemed like a curtain was pulled back. And I said, I see it. I understand it. It's right here in the Word of God. That God truly does have one church. Which is And you can see it right here in the Word. Sweet as the honeycomb. How sweet the true word of God is to them. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. They humbly came before the Lord and praised him in song.
On December 9, 2018, the official business of taking members in by covenant was conducted by Bishop Hawkins. One hundred thirty-six members were received in Zimbabwe and two members from Malawi. Four local churches were established in Zimbabwe and one in Malawi and a national overseer was appointed. This has re-established our work in Zimbabwe and has added a new work in the country of Malawi. Welcome home. During this trip, we also received about 30 ministerial applications. Please pray for the continuing work and the saints there. It is time again for our March World Mission Drive. Let us work and do all we can to help boost this offering. There are those that need to hear the true word of God around the world. The church of God has the whole truth for the whole world. Let us work to get it to them. May God bless you. International Ladies Retreat The theme this year is Say Yes to the Dress. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The Eastern Regional Retreat will be held in Lake Barkley, Cadiz, Kentucky on May 3rd through the 5th, 2019. The Western Regional Retreat will be October 4th through the 6th, 2019 at Pine Rock Camp and Conference Center in Prescott, Arizona. For more information, please contact headquarters. Wow. 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 Wow.